2020 is finally over. Happy New Year, everybody! I hope you had a great celebration and may this year be a great one to all of us. Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! Anyway, I hope you like my simple and short B-roll and now we'll take a look at this Pearl Roadshow drum kit. So if you're planning on getting a Pearl Roadshow this year, congratulations! And if you've already made some basic research about it, you've already probably noticed that the rest of head of my bass drum is black. While if you go to Pearl website, the Pearl Roadshow series now come with the white rest of head, the bass drum. Well, I'm still actually using the stock heads of my bass drum and in 2018, the Pearl Roadshow series came with the black rest of head. But that's fine, not a big deal. That's the only difference. My kit is the Fusion 5-piece setup and there are other available setups like for small spaces, for jazz, for rock setup, etc. My Fusion setup comes with shell that's 6 ply 7mm poplar, 14 inches by 5.5 inches wood snare, 10 and 12 inches high toms, 16 inches floor toms, and 22 inches bass drum. It also comes with a free 16 inches per crash cymbal, which sounds bad, and a pair of 14 inches hi hats, which sounds bad as well. But they are helpful if you are just starting out and you don't have any cymbals yet. Anyway, getting a kit like this, the investment doesn't end with just getting a kit. The investment really takes place on cymbals, which brings me to my point. I don't understand why this roadshow has the description of being just for students or for kids. Even if you go to YouTube and look for some roadshow videos, majority of the owners are kids or beginners. I'm not a kid anymore, obviously, and I've been using this kit for almost 3 years now, and I'm still loving it. Of course, it is your initiative to study your kit, to tweak your kit, to upgrade your kit, to achieve your desired sound. And if you ask me if this kit is not just for kids, my answer is absolutely 100% yes. This is not just for kids. This is great for studio recordings, for live recordings, for live gigs, for practices, or anything that the high-end drums can normally do. Since I mentioned the recordings, I will make a video which focuses on just recordings and the process and my recording setup. And that will be the last part of my Roadshow series coverage. You see, from my unboxing to tweaking to cleaning, and now I'm reviewing my kit for the very first time, I've done so many videos about it already. And indeed, the recording process will be the last one, but the drum covers will stay. I will still do drum covers from time to time. And speaking of covers, I've done a simple and quick drum cover just a while ago and I hope that that will help you in deciding if this kit is really for you. I hope you enjoy it and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye! I am up to invisible grounds Don't know when to stop Returning It's not the way for me Only a mile
Returning is not the 